Hey, Tommy Hodges here with another great tutorial from DigitalMediaTutorials.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to take a black and white image and colorize it. Got a photograph of Morgan Freeman here. You see there's two examples. Each example is a little different uh, where we took the paintbrush. When we use the magic wand tool, the magnetic lasso tool, the eraser tool, the eyedropper tool, and of course the paintbrush in order to achieve this. But before we begin, I need to talk to you guys about color modes. Um, when you're working with in Photoshop, sometimes you may run into an issue with color modes. Uh, let's say you go online and you download an image and you want to use that image, you want to colorize that image. If the image is grayscale, um, you're going to run into some issues. Check it out. Got two photographs of Morgan Freeman. They're identical. The difference between the two, look here. One says RGB, the other says gray. RGB, red, green, and blue. Gray stands for grayscale. Okay? The difference, whenever you paint an image that is uh, black and white, that's using the RGB color mode, you can simply pick a color, and the color will show up when you're painting. But over here, if it's grayscale and you pick a color, it's not going to show you that color. Instead, it's going to show you gray. So if you want to colorize this guy and it's in grayscale mode, here's what you got to do. I'm going to go ahead and revert this image. Okay, so I'm going to go back to, I want to get rid of all this. So I'm going to go to File. Revert, and by the way, if you use Revert, uh, Revert will always take your image back to its last saved state. So in this case, um, it's taking it back to when we first opened it. Boom. So now it's back to normal. If you go to Image Mode at the top of the page, you'll see Bitmap, Grayscale, Duotone, Index Color, RGB Color, CMYK Color, Lab Color, Multi-Channel, and then you've got 8, 16, and 32-bit channels that you can choose from. We're going to be working in RGB, so we need to change this. So instead of Grayscale, notice it's checked, showing Grayscale. Let's change this to RGB. Once we change it to RGB Mode, now I can pick a color and go with green. And look, it shows up. So that's good. Okay, that looks like all the time I have for today. Thanks for choosing DigitalMediaTutorials.com. I'm Tommy Hodges. Now let's go to part two where I show you how to paint your black and white image.